millions of Americans are doing just that. And we're grateful. Somebody's wanting to go outside, reaching for the light. This has been my workstation today. I've been planting planters. These little fellas out here in the green pots on the deck. Those three plants are for lettuces and basil. Things are turning green finally around here. And been working on um, my little project here in my little grow, grow room. I've got some grow lights so I'm excited about. It's a great buy. This is just purely for pleasure. No other reason. Put these two guys out here outside. And plus, they're my starts for a lot of my um, outdoor plants. But then these guys are like my new little passion, little hobby. So I was telling you, Mom, I got this um, Lazy Susan here, cheap. So it was like it's three-tiered thing. And so I put these plants on them that I planted recently. And um, so anyway, it's kind of cool. And this one too. So I kind of got onto this uh, little uh, craze about these succulents, and so I couldn't help but uh, feel for you and thought, oh, mom needs some of these too. I have to say, I love this one right here. It's kind of cool. It's like a little stiff little thing. It's sweet. So what we have here, we have a snail, and we've got our little little buddy we saved from the pond this year. He's doing good. He's a little happy little environment. Here's our avocado plant. He'll be going back out to the yard. And a uh, little bit of friend. A little love. A little love. Anyway, it's doing good, so it's ready to get another season behind it and growing healthily and um oh christmas cactus that uh i kind of figured out what i need to do with this thing and um this is a piece here that uh, stuck in the dirt it's rooted it just kind of broke off one of the other pieces here so anyway it's doing fine I think it'll like the light that it's in, but I put it in a bigger pot and um, gave it some nice cactus soil and stopped watering it so much, and it seems to be doing a lot better. A little jade plant, got that recently in my little succulent bar, <laughs> so I put it in a little uh, pot by itself, and uh, that little guy right there too, yeah, he's pretty sweet, so... Kind of a, it's, it's a type of an aloe. I'm um, not sure. I can't remember the name of it. I've got the name, but anyway. And this little guy here I bought at a garden center a few years ago. And um, Lord, it took me forever to get it started. I kept thinking I'd killed it a few times, but uh, it's been fun. I enjoy it a lot. It's a sweet little plant. And, um, this one Shauna gave me, and uh, it's been fun. You can see it's kind of coming along, and I've had this thing for years, and um, it has taken me quite some time just to get it to this degree of growth. So anyway, it's got a lot more on it. Um, you can't really tell, but... Oh, and this is my poinsettia. It's kind of old. I've had it. It's kind of sparse. I can tell you. But um, it's probably four or five years old now. And I was out of town. Didn't get water. Leaves dropped off. So it's got like half the leaves on it right now that it normally has. 
but for some reason it still keeps on kicking and coming back. So, and this is um, the original mama plant that I got from you. It has bloomed so much. Um, it's been unbelievable how many blooms I've had on this thing. And I, anyway, it's just crazy. I love it. And I know this came from Shauna originally, but this was just from one little piece that I got from you um, several years ago now. And um, I had started two pots like this one. I gave one to a friend of mine at work about a year ago because I thought, well, what do I need two for? So this pot I started last year from it. So it's really probably going to fill out a lot this year and grow. And it's had a lot of offshoots. And um, I've got this one right here too that's ready to be replanted. So that's something I on my to-do list. And um, I'll probably take some of these, a couple of these little guys here and add to it. I'm not sure about this one. It's kind of funky. It looks like it still needs some more time on the mother plant to because it's got an extra little shoot on it. I don't know. Anyway. So I've added these lights today to this little corner back here. I've got this aloe here. Um, healthy mama plant. And then um, I bought this recently the other day. Actually, I can't remember when I bought it. I bought this about two weeks ago. It's a little banana plant. I got it at Lowe's. And um try to get you some startings off of that and uh, this is another one of my little um, succulent pots that I started so this was like just one little pot and I broke it up and stuck it all around and um, this was a single plant this was another planter of little um, plants that I broke apart and sp spread out between the other plants and these little guys here this one I need to get another little Lazy Susan for. This is so cute. This is one of my favorites. And it's doing pretty good. It's pretty healthy. And this one too. I like that. So anyway, this is a very compact little pot here. And um, so we'll just see how it does. And uh, hopefully this stuff right here will trail. I'm not sure what it's called. But anyway, I've got the name for it somewhere. And then this is a piece of a cutting of a plant that... My friend, my girl that does my hair gave me, and it's, it was a stick when I got it, so it's really bloomed out, and um, that'll get planted out in the yard um, this uh, year, This, and I'll see how it does. It's kind of like a trumpet plant. She said it has like some big trumpet um, leaves to it, or, or blossoms, so I'm excited to see. How that's going to do but right now we get in the afternoons we get good sunlight from the window um but these grow lights are really going to take my plants up to the next level i hope <laughs> we'll see right and then down here i've got um a couple aloe vera that have broken off and um so supposedly you let these ends callus and then you can plant these. So we'll just see how that goes. This is obviously an experiment. And then these are the little trumpet um, plants. I had some of these little aloe vera or these little succulent pots left over. So I put seeds in it that I'd saved from last year. So I've got like 11 here and um, get those started. So I'll be able to share those and have plenty to share. So these are garlic. So I'm hoping that these will take off and stick those out in the garden. Okay. All right. One more thing. This is when I was planting all of my succulents. I um, had leaves that I would pinch off or that fell off or there were little buds that fell. So I've got like this little one here that I'm going to let root and I'll have a little succulent plant. If I don't kill it. And then I tore that one off of one of my plants today by accident. So I just stuck it down. Actually, when I looked at the root system, it had already calloused off. So I felt okay about sticking it down in the dirt now. And then this right here, 
or a couple little pieces that had fallen off. So we'll just see how they'll do. They'll either die or they'll take root. But I do have some little pups started. Let's see. Where was it? There's some roots right there on that one. started somewhere oh here he is over here look at this little guy see right there i got a little pup started so i'm so excited um crassula anyway poor full variegat yada 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 anyway that little pup right there is off of this plant right here <laughs> so I'm so excited because I think that's beautiful okay that's it nothing about coronavirus um, everybody here is healthy so far that we know and Mitchell sent me a really sweet little picture of the baby um, the other night so I'll send that okay I love you guys and signing off from Murphy North Carolina bye